assembling the DV Mega. I'm just going to uh, dismantle mine just so you can see how it goes together. Um, now, yours will have a bayonet uh, fitting and not a screw together um, a joiner. So what happens is in the packaging you will get um, these little bayonet things um, and you're going to need just to trim them down just a little bit. There's a tiny, tiny little bit of uh, plastic down the inside there, very, very small, um, very thin piece of, uh, of, of uh, um, almost like a, um, like a guide. Um, and that actually, when you, when you push this through this bit of plastic here, it's actually quite thick and you can actually see it just stops it from from sort of making a good um, sort of like a, a good contact so what I do is I tend just to trim that little bit off so that when it goes through it actually makes a very good you can see how how far they've actually spread out so that it's really in there and that will give you a, a good uh, base for the um, for the main unit now then you also get quite a long one of these um, one of these these joiners and that bane it that all that does is pops in this hole here where I've got this spacer from the it goes down um, on top of the of the baseboard which is this uh, the uh, blue stack um, uh, plus uh, board um, the green one being an Android one the white one being an iOS and quite simply your DV ra uh, sorry your DV mega radio shield just pops on the top now for the for people that want to use this with a Raspberry Pi you can um, you need to follow the instructions that come with this radio shield there's a small piece of paper inside the uh, packaging um, you need to just follow the, the links to the website on that and follow the instructions you need to be quite um, technical to, to get this to work I think 100% and familiar with how to flash um, Raspberry Pi images and that sort of thing um, to get this to work 100% using the techniques that they, they talk about. And you can either use this MMDV or you can use uh, Pi Star. Um, and that is with a Raspberry Pi. However, that is completely forgotten about if you use the Bluestack um, board. And this is my preferred way of doing it because it's just so easy. Um, you quite simply take the two boards and then plug them together like that and that's it job done um, in my case I'm just gonna have to screw this together but in yours it will just be a snap together affair because it's a, like a little bane it okay so when you've done that okay you you quite simply take your baseboard okay and then just line the pegs up with the holes and it just pushes together until you hear a slight click like so and, there you are. and that is it that's the baseboard and the whole affair done um, very substantial now you might notice I've actually got an orange wire on here as well um, to update the firmware you can you can update the firmware via this USB port um, with I think the button pushed in as I recall um, but you um, you can use this this uh, blue stack board to actually flash the firmware and that's a really good way of doing it but you need to solder on this tag again if you give us a call when you when you do when you when you want if you order this we will assemble this for you so all you got to do is, is ask there will be a small charge we can assemble this for you if you want us to add the firmware cable on we will do for you just ask and as again there will be a small charge but it's you know just a matter of uh, uh, a little bit of labor time um, right okay so assembling it is just so easy you take one of the end panels okay the one with a hole in it and that lines up with the USB port like so turn it round you take the other end panel with the writing so you can read it from the outside the right way up okay and that gives you your two ends then you're going to take the top panel, which I've lost. There you go, the top panel, and that's the one with the cutout. Okay, and that cutout simply lines up with the antenna port. Turn it round. 
Okay, now you're going to want the small um, the button cover. And that's the button cover. It's a 3D printed little button cover. That can be yellow, orange, white, black, whatever color. And it simply pops over the switch. You then take one of the side panels, okay, and you simply drop that over like so. Spin the case around and take the other side and that simply pops on like that. Then what you do then is you take your, these side clips and they simply push through like that. I'll just throw them on, on the floor. <coughs> and then you spin that one round, take that one and put that one through the side. And that is it, job done. It is that easy. Take your antenna and that simply screws on. Okay, and there's your button for operating between windows. Now the good thing is, with this connected to a Windows computer, now via a USB port, um, I think with the button pushed in, you can actually then run this with the Windows software, which is downloadable. Um, I'll make sure there's a link on the website um, for you to, to follow for the software. Um, the button out, you can then connect it to your Android phone. Um, and I think I've done a video already of that, connected up to an Android phone. Really easy to do, absolutely uh, uh, fantastic. So easy, um, good. Anyway, but there you go. That is a DV Mega, how to assemble it. I'll try and get some links and stuff um, put on the website and some uh, links, if not put below um, this video. Um, and as I say, enjoy the product, it's, it's a fantastic product and um, as I say, it's, it's not difficult to build. You don't need a Raspberry Pi, um, although you can use it with a Raspberry Pi, it's entirely up to you. This, this kit is all about experimentation and you know, really sort of inspiring, sort of uh, a little bit of technical uh, forward thinking and it is, you know, it's, it's really, really good stuff. Anyway, enjoy the kit, thanks for watching.